Happy Wednesday. Nine News Meteorologist Lauren Robinson here with your forecast. And we're going to continue to see two stories across the state, across the high country and western slope. That snowfall is going to continue as we go throughout the day Wednesday, just kind of moving from south to north and then lingering across the western slope. But the front range in eastern plains not only staying dry, but pretty sunny as we go throughout the rest of the day. At times late Wednesday night, we can maybe see some of those raindrops or maybe a few snowflakes break their way into the front range, but certainly not enough to really change much and not to change any real plans that you may have uh, certainly no accumulation and maybe a few just raindrops along the southeastern corner of the state. Outside of that, though, we do have winter weather advisories again in the high country and uh, western slope, central and southern portions there. We're going to wait for these winter weather advisories to push on out as we go throughout the day and throughout our Thursday. We're also going to watch for more snowfall with those strong winds that could create that blowing snow and cause hazardous travel conditions. We're going to also have avalanche watches and warnings that will be in effect and they'll continue to expire as we go throughout the next couple of days. So you want to continue to monitor that. If you do have any backcountry skiing plans, maybe try to move those away. But as far as our temperatures go, we're going to be very seasonal over the next couple of days, especially here in Denver, where we're going to stay dry, just cloud cover pushing through. So we'll be in the upper 40s to middle 40s through the rest of the weekend. And as we start the next work week, that's when those temperatures drop into the 30s and we're going to watch for more snow chances to push into Denver.